Yes, you can run air conditioning off-grid. Let me show you how I'm doing it. This is my DIY power wall. I made it with Chevy Volt batteries and a reliable inverter, which is rated at 3000 watts. I wanted to see if it could run air conditioning. We've had a lot of heat the last two weeks here in Massachusetts, uh, some days in the 90s, and finally the garage got a little bit too warm for me. So this is a 1200 square foot garage and I'm cooling it with a 5000 BTU air conditioner. There seems to be just a little misconception out there that if you're running off-grid air conditioning, you're running it directly from the solar panels. Well, I'm not, uh, and most people aren't. You're actually running it off of the batteries. So you gotta make sure that your uh, amp draw from the air conditioner is not going to exceed the continuous amp draw rating for these batteries. I'm well within that for these batteries. Uh, so that's not my weak link. Uh, and you have to make sure that the inverter can handle the surge capacity of the air conditioner. And I was unsure about that one, uh, but it can, and I'm gonna demonstrate it to you here in a minute. Uh, but I have disconnected the solar panels. Now I started this test last night, about 77 degrees in the garage, and it dropped the air temperature down to about 73. Concrete slab is still warmer than that, so it takes longer for the thermal mass to catch up uh, I ran it off the inverter all night long and did not overheat. The inverter did kick the fan on a couple of times to cool itself, which is what it's supposed to do. Uh, so nothing blew up, uh, no damage. Uh, so uh, let me show you how I did it. This is my very simple 5000 BTU window air conditioner. I mounted it through the wall of the garage and it's up high so that the cold air can drift down, but also it's very close to the eave outside so that it gets rain protection. Now I've had this for nine years. Uh, I've used it in two apartments and then when we first moved into the house we used it in the house until I got the mini split. And this thing is still running, still working great, never had any maintenance other than washing out the filter. So this is why I like simple window ACs uh, and if it does break it was only 120 bucks. Uh, as opposed to the mini split and if you want to see some of the problems that I've had with my mini split I'll leave a link to uh, the description below uh, but I'm not a fan of mini splits in comparison to these guys <laughs> I'm using a 100 foot 12 gauge extension cord and we're plugging it into the AC I'm using this watt meter so we were at 47.9 volts when we started the test I ran it all night long and into this morning and we're currently at uh, 44.7 volts in the battery bank. All right, let's turn on the AC and see what happens. Yeah, it looks like the fan is drawing about 63 watts. And that jump there is for the compressor. So the compressor just kicked on and now we've got 433 watts uh, because the compressor and fan are running. So that's great news. Uh, this relatively cheap inverter handled the surge capacity of that 5000 V2 window air conditioner just fine. Uh, I'm pleased with that and it cooled the garage. So now I can actually start using the electricity more often. Uh, I've just been using it recently for charging my batteries and. Hey, thanks a lot for watching, and if you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I really have to get that ground mount up because uh, to recharge this right now is just temporary and I put the panels away at night.